Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a highly requested Stony Get Ready With Me video. Um, when X Vapes reached out to me about the X Lux Vixen vape pen, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do this video. Like, I don't think I've ever been as excited about a vape pen as I as I am with this one. I put it in my makeup bag. Oh, my makeup bag is so cool. Let me show you this. I got it from um, Amazon. It's called a lay and go and I was gonna make it just my travel makeup bag. Also, sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. You probably like Definitely can but um, I was gonna make this just my travel makeup bag and it ends up turning into just my overall makeup bag It kind of like cinches up into this little like sack of makeup <laughs> but when you open it the drawstring is like very very long so you can kind of lay it out flat and see all of your things can you see that yeah so th not that that matters i just get very excited about really small things like makeup bags that you can lay out flat but i have my vape pen in here because it kind of it kind of blends in you know it looks like a tube of lipstick but it's a vape pen. It's magnetic and it has a double coil quartz atomizer in here and it looks just like a tube of lipstick. I am just like living for this. And then the button is this little V here. It's just so, so cute. It, I just love it. I'm seriously obsessed with it. So I figured I'd do a little get ready with me video today. Just like do my makeup and chat with you guys while smoking some concentrates out of this pen. I guess I'll start off with a hit. We will load up the pen. I have, hmm, maybe I'll end the video with some CBD. I have some Harley Quinn that I've been loving, but I think I'll end the video with that. Maybe I'll start off. Yeah, the Sour OG. Let's go with Sour OG to start. So the vape pen is, comes with a little uh, micro USB charger. It's just like that standard one that a lot of vape pens are. Comes with a dab container right in there, an extra atomizer. And then this is what I was looking for, is the little dabber. <laughs> I'm also recording in my living room, so this is kind of different. I have one of the dogs in here with me, and then um, Dana, the bigger bulldog, he wouldn't come inside, and it's like 45 degrees out, so I'm just letting them hang outside. Last week was really, really cold here. Friday, the high was only like 35 degrees, I wanna say, which is kind of crazy. Let me see if I can zoom in and show this. All right, so we got the pen here, and then this whole part is just like magnetic, which is nice, that just comes right off, and then, you can see in there there's the double coiled quartz atomizers you just place your concentrates right on top of that like you would with any other vape pen all right and you can see the dab is right in there oh my god i'm so excited to use this so like most vape pens five clicks to turn it on and it's got three different temperature settings i think it's on low right now yeah it's green so the green is 400 degrees the blue is 500 and then the red is 600 and then three clicks to change the temp oops i think i fucked that up there we go now it's on blue i guess i'll start on blue all right oh my gosh this is so fun okay cheers if you're smoking along let me know in the comments what strain you're smoking cheers Oh my gosh. Yes. Ah, this is so exciting. One more hit. It looks so cool. All right, I usually try to put some hand sanitizer on before I do my makeup or like wash your hands or something like that just because you are going to be touching your face. Well, I guess a lot of people use like makeup brushes and stuff like that, but I normally don't. So I touch my face a lot when I do my makeup. So I like to make sure they're as clean as possible. But I'm gonna start with my toner first. This is the toner that I use. I just recently started using toner and I feel like I've noticed a slight difference. Like, I don't know, just like I've always just had really, really dark eyes. I can't remember. I think I was in eighth grade or seventh grade and someone asked me like what eyeshadow I was wearing and I wasn't wearing any makeup. I was just like, I, my eyelids are just dark. Like, I don't know. And I feel like it's helped a little bit. I mean, I've always had dark circles, but this also just kind of like 
makes my face feel cleaner because I feel like I'm more likely to kind of use this and just like clean off my face a little bit as opposed to like actually washing my face in the sink you know what I mean because I'm usually someone that only washes my face in like the shower um so just more ways to kind of take care of my skin I guess Last time I used this, people were like saying that you're not supposed to rub it in and I was doing it wrong. I guess I should leave this disclaimer here. Like, I suck at doing makeup. Like, I'm not a beauty guru. I like don't need people like commenting on my techniques and everything that I'm doing wrong. Like, I just decided to share a sesh with you guys and do my makeup. So I hope you guys appreciate that. But yeah, I was told like rubbing this wasn't the right way to do it, but like... How else do you fully saturate your skin? I feel like that's kind of annoying, you know? <laughs> and then this is the moisturizer that I've been using for like the past six months, I would say. I really, really like this moisturizer a lot. Um, this was actually given to me by a friend, but it's called Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. So I like it. Works well with my skin, I think. And it smells really, really good. It smells very, just like fresh orange, honestly. Orange, 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 orange. Do you say orange or orange? If you're not from New England, you probably say orange. That's like I say Sarah instead of Sarah. And same thing like Gary, I say instead of Gary. People, I feel like the more friends that I make outside of New England, the more that I get like comments on my accent and stuff like that. Like whenever I'm hanging out with friends, there's just like certain words that will be repeated back to me. And I'm like, oh, I say that like that, don't I? You're supposed to apply it in an upward motion because gravity is already weighing down on your skin. So why add to that gravity? <laughs> That's what I've read, and that's what people always comment on my stuff. Like, don't rub your skin down. You're supposed to rub it up. <laughs> I'm going to let this, like, soak in, you know, and then we're going to start. So I just use, well, I use a couple different things. It kind of switches up. I feel like most of my makeup I have found, well, not most of it. Some of my makeup I've really found from just, like, beauty subscription boxes. Like, this is a little pore cover upper what is it called pore refiner and um this really helps with just kind of covering up the pores that are like on your nose and just like right around here and this I got from my birch box and then I repurchased um a bigger size of it because I liked it so much and then I think my eyeliner also came from a birch box I I bought this I think in the summer and all like <laughs> the what's it called label is pretty much rubbed off but it's Ico fat liquid liner I like it a lot, but I use two different eyeliners. You guys will see. Why am I telling you this now? You'll see. Okay. Oh, no. Where's my chapstick? I normally have chapstick in here, um, and I like to put on chapstick before I start, like, my whole makeup process. But instead, I, since I don't feel like going upstairs, I'm going to use my Canismac Eye and Lip Serum. Okay. This is actually, like, really cool. It kind of is, like... Like, it reminds me of a unicorn, because it's very, very just, like, metallic-y, if that makes sense. Whoa, those are some holographic lips. Oh, no, how am I going to hit my vape pen? That's okay. It's just me, so, like, who cares if I get this stuff on it? Whoa. That looks weird. All right, perfect. So... We'll kind of let that do its thing. And I'm going to start with concealer. I use Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in the color Light Honey. I don't, like, half of this stuff probably isn't even my shade, but, like, who really cares? I just, I like makeup, but I'm not super, super into it. Like, you know what I mean? I like it enough to use concealer and stuff. Okay, so I have a mirror right here, so I'm probably going to start, like, looking over there, to be honest. I feel like I'm just gonna get judged by my technique for all of this, to be completely honest. I hope you guys are nice to me. <laughs> just a little stony get ready with me. Guys, Vlogmas starts so soon. It starts in like 16 days, I think. 
super exciting and i move into my apartment so soon the apartment will be vacant uh december 1st so then i'll be able to do like an empty apartment tour and then start painting um we have to like check out the carpets and like see how they are from the tenants before and see if those need to be replaced so we might have to do that but um if the carpets are good all we have to do is do a fresh coat of paint and then like deep clean the place you know so I'm super, super excited. I'm going to start like slowly moving all of my things in throughout the month of December. And then after Christmas is when I'm going to fully move in. Because I don't want to be like half living in my new apartment on like Christmas. You know what I mean? I'd rather like still have my bed here and just like, I don't know, kind of be like slowly working on that. And I think it's just a really good opportunity to have that long to move into a place. Especially like my first apartment going from like my one bedroom in my parents house to an entire three bedroom apartment is just a really big change so um it's gonna take a while to kind of accumulate the furniture and just the things that i need so i feel super fortunate to have just like the long period of time to um just like get ready and move my stuff in i actually last night my cousin's friend was giving away a couch and um we went to go check it out and it was really really nice so i feel like i mumbled that really really nice so um we grabbed it and it's a really like gorgeous it's an excellent condition it's like an l almost like a u-shaped couch and it's a dark gray color and it's kind of like a cloth material and it, it's just like super super comfy i'm so excited it's just like a really really good quality piece of furniture and i'm super super grateful to have that for just like my first place and have so many good opportunities with my family just helping me out and stuff i'm gonna load another dab because this was actually my first smoke of the day and i want more and we'll let my see most people use like translucent powder for like setting your concealer but i'm just <laughs> i just use this like buff pressed powder from physician's formula i don't know that's just what i do <laughs> i've been showing everyone this vape pen i like ran downstairs to show my parents the other day and i was like look how cool look at this they're like what lipstick and i was like no <laughs> it's a vape pen <laughs> so funny oh my gosh i'm gonna get this like lip serum all over it but oh well it comes apart i can clean it cheers All right, so next I'm going to use a different physician's formula. This one is multicolored pressed powder in the color beige. That first one was multicolored pressed powder in the color buff. Um, I get the beige one from CVS. I can never find it in Target. I can only find it in CVS for some reason. And this one I just kind of use for like all over my face to kind of just like even out my skin tone. Sometimes it gets a little dark for me in the winter months and I have to have like a very, very light hand for it, but I still have like a decent tan, better than most years I would say. But I kind of just like get like a base layer on there and then just kind of blends it all out, you know? Oh, and then the neck, can't forget the neck. Oh, oh, we gotta go in the upward motion. Don't forget we have to defy gravity. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Why am I like this? One thing, okay, so this one time in college, I saw this girl and she must have used like bare minerals or something like that. And I remember seeing like exactly where her powder ended. Like she didn't blend it all the way into her hairline and you could just see like the line of where it ended. And I was like, I wonder if mine's ever looked like that. So now I'm just like so adamant about like making sure I'm kind of like going like really kind of into my hairline to make sure it's blended if that makes sense and then I kind of afterwards blend out the powder that was underneath my eyes mm -hmm. oh I forgot to do the pore thing on my nose damn it oh well we'll just do without it this time do you ever do that or a lot of times I forget to put on moisturizer before I start doing my makeup so I guess it could be worse do we notice a difference yet? Okay, cool. Today's my mom's birthday. It's Mama Hippie's birthday. Shout out to Mama Hippie. Thanks for bringing me into this world. You're an angel. I love my mom. My parents are the best.
I'm so happy that I'm staying so close to them. My mom has been saying that so much. She's like, I'm just so happy that you want to stay so close with us because so many kids just want to move as far away from their parents as possible and it just means a lot that you want to stay so close and it means that we've just built mutual respect with you and I was like, stop, I'm gonna cry. Like, I just love my parents. They're so awesome. I feel like I have to turn to the side and let you know that it looks like a tube of lipstick. Because if you just see me like hitting a vape, what's the point? <laughs> so moving on, I usually do blush next. I should probably wash my makeup brushes. I think it's been a couple weeks since I've done that. This one's getting a little dirty. I don't remember the brand of this one. Oh, it says Glamour Dolls on it. But I saw that, I think it was like a Facebook ad of some makeup company that had Lisa Frank makeup brushes. So I pre-ordered it. And then it came in like four months later and I had completely forgotten about it and got super excited. Do you ever do that when you order something on pre-order and then when it actually arrives, you completely forgot that it even existed? Because same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like every time I move to a new step, I'm about to preface it with like, don't judge what I'm doing. Like I might be doing it wrong. Just let me live my life. <laughs> I just need to not care, you know? It's my face, not yours. If I fuck it up, it's my face. <laughs> I would love to have someone that's actually really good at makeup do my makeup one day, though. I feel like, especially with, like, contouring. I mean, like, I, I love just, like, I love not wearing makeup and I love wearing makeup. I definitely feel like I have a decent balance of the two. But, um... I suck at contouring, that just like never looks good on me and I feel like that's what really helps people kind of look a little bit older when they're trying to go for that, like that more mature, because clearly I look like I'm 14, I get told that every day of my life, and makeup helps me look about like 16, 17 instead of 14, but um, I feel like if someone did my makeup professionally, it would be even just like more of a difference, you know? You know? All right, what's next? Highlight. Highlighter is my fucking favorite. Ooh, I'm gonna put glitter on today. Hopefully I don't forget. So I have my little highlighter. Oh, did I say, okay, I didn't say where my blush came from. My blush is from Julep, which is a beauty subscription box that I used to get, and it's called Rosewood. It's getting a little bit low, but it's just like a very like dusty rose color with, I feel like, goldish? kind of shimmery tones in it, if that makes sense. And I don't know if that even goes well with like this stuff, which is like a Bobbi Brown pink highlighter, but I like it. My favorite thing about highlighter is when you put it on your nose and it just looks so adorable. It's just like my favorite. Is this video interesting, guys? I feel like this is just taking forever and like I'm just rambling. I've been recording for 21 minutes. Hopefully there's like some long pauses in there that I can really cut out. <laughs> I'm almost done. Well, if I do eyeliner, I'm not almost done. Oh, I didn't bring any eyeshadow down here. Oh well, we won't do eyeshadow. I have the Naked 3 palette. That's my favorite eyeshadow palette because it really just has those like shimmery, pinky kind of tones. Whereas the first two Naked palettes more have like warm brown kind of tones. Um, <clears throat> and I just feel like those don't look as good on me, you know? A lot of people will do a little bit of highlighter on their cupid's bow, like right here. But I'm probably going to brush my teeth after this, so it's going to come right off. Oh well. Alright, let's load up another, another, another dab! Let's, <laughs> what is my life? Oh, my dog is so cute. It's so cool. I'm sorry I'm being such a dork about it, but it's just so cool to me. I love this. Okay, so I have this like 49 cent wet and wild glitter, and sometimes I like to add a little bit of glitter to like the area where you put your highlight. Add it. Maybe that's why I look like I'm 14. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> Stop! Guys, I'm finally hanging out with my friend Jenny again next week, which is exciting. I feel like I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know if you can see the glitter, but there's a little bit on there. Ooh, actually, there's a decent bit on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, because the light's kind of bright. It might be, like, too bright, but I can definitely see it in the mirror. There's, like, a lot right here. Can you see it on this side? I don't know. Cool! 
there's some glitter. All right, next we're gonna do eyeliner. So I use two different things for eyeliner. Oh, actually, you know, first I'm gonna do this. I need to get a new one of these, but it's just like clear brow gel. And I feel like I have decent eyebrows on their own. Like I definitely need to get them cleaned up because my like hairs grow down pretty like low, I would say. But um, since I do have decent eyebrows, I'm able to just kind of use a clear gel to keep them in place. And then I just work with that. I filled them in for a little bit, like I'd fill them in a tiny bit. And I was using actually this uh, Cabral by Benefit, but I just kind of got over it, you know? I was like, you know what? I have decent eyebrows. I should just appreciate them, let them do their thing. And that's one less thing I have to do in the morning. Afterwards, I'll usually use like, this is an eyebrow pencil. I literally never use the actual pencil. I just use this thing on the end of it. I think this came in like a birch box or something like that. I actually don't get any beauty subscription boxes anymore. I feel like I should sign up for one. If any of you um, watching, if you're still watching this, <laughs> if any of you happen to um, be subscribed to any beauty boxes, let me know which ones. I definitely want to subscribe to a new one. Maybe there'll be like some cool Christmas deals that are um, like, coming around in the near future. All right, is there anything left in here? Yes, very much so. <laughs> so I use two things, like I said, that Ico Fat Liquid Liner, little marker pen thing. And then I just use this super cheap ELF um, liquid liner that has the little brush. So I use this specifically for my wing just to like get it nice and then I use this for the rest of it okay I did a get ready with me video on my friend Evelyn's channel with her and everyone was like why did you go away for the eyeliner I wanted to see that part but it's so hard to do eyeliner like not six inches away from the mirror you know what I mean like I always get super super close to the mirror to do my eyeliner Ugh, this thing always does that my old one didn't do that my first one all right, how can I do this and not get too far from you guys? I guess this works. I might only show you the left eye then because I don't feel like repositioning this around, you know? All right, so I always just kind of do the baseline first and get that how I want it to be, and then I do the wing. I don't know if that matters. <laughs> I'm gonna get like really, really close. Like that's, you can't even see the mirror how close I am. I know you're not supposed to pull your eye, but like I can't do my eyeliner without doing that. Afterwards, I kind of take um, like the marker and almost just like press it right up against my lash line just to kind of eliminate any of like the skin color that's kind of left. You know what I mean? Like I almost like get super, super close right up against there and just like. Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh, sometimes I'll use a crayon and I'll do like my upper waterline, like literally go like that and then like color in up there. But a lot of times that transfers to the bottom and that just, I don't know, it kind of depends. All right, I guess maybe I'll do both of these first, like the little lines. Usually I'll finish one eye and then move on to the next, but for some reason my camera turned off and said the internal temperature was too high. I mean, it was kind of a long clip, but that's only happened to me once, and that one was, and that was when I was recording in like over 100 degree weather out in Vegas, and it's not warm at all. It's kind of weird that that did that. I finished both of my baselines on my eyeliner, and now I'm gonna do my wing. I'm not that good at eyeliner. I think it's okay. I feel like I should add more, but then like you know when you do add more, then you fuck it up and you have to add even more, and it's just like. A never-ending cycle. <laughs> I have a trick for when I do fuck it up. I just use a, uh, I just use a Q-tip and then like literally just go like that on the bottom of the wing and it just makes it pretty. I think the actual like eyeliner itself isn't thick enough for the size wing that I made. Do you know what I mean? Shout out if you don't even do makeup or really care about makeup and you're watching this. I appreciate your support because I imagine this isn't too exhilarating especially if you're not into doing makeup or just like learning about it. All right, I'm just gonna go with that. Just sometimes, some, some days you just say fuck it. All right, eyeliner is finished. I've had better days, I've had worse days. I'm just gonna accept it. <laughs> I should probably pluck my eyebrows, but 
maybe another day. I'm gonna pack this vape pen again, and then I just have my mascara to do. Wait, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Ooh, I guess I'll end this with the CBD then. That Harley Quinn. Ugh, this stuff's gonna be tough though, because it's super, super sappy, so it's a little harder to get into vape pens. Kind of a lot. We'll see how this goes. All right, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Harley Quinn! Oh, I missed the button. <laughs> ah, cheers. Mmm, cherry. I feel like mascara genuinely makes the biggest difference. Like, if I had to only pick one makeup product to wear for the rest of my life, it would definitely be mascara. Can I do this in the viewfinder? Uh, it's kind of difficult. I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye. I always kind of like do that. Like I'll move the brush a little to get in between the lashes and then go like two thirds of the way up and then kind of wiggle it the rest of the way. And I feel like that really helps to just like separate my lashes and just not get clumps. Um, I feel like this is one of the few mascaras that doesn't really like clump up my uh, mascara. I feel like I'm using the word mascara so many times, but it makes sense because I'm, you know. Um, but this one is called the Clump, Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. I used to like the orange tube by like the Lash Blast, but this one's my favorite now because the, the wand is like slightly curved and I feel like that makes a big difference. I like, I'm using my, my mirror now. I don't know, the, the camera's just not the same. I feel like it's because you have to look up. Like you're not, like normally you're looking at the mirror like this, like pretty much looking into your own eyes. Oh wow, I can actually see myself in the reflection of my lens. So I'm just like staring at you guys, which is probably super creepy, but it's making my eyeliner, or my, I always call it eyeliner, my mascara much easier. Oh my God, I'm literally staring into your souls. Do you feel it? Do you feel me staring into your soul? Sometimes if I want to be extra, I'll do like two coats of mascara after a minute or two. You know what I mean? Like let this one dry. But sometimes, sometimes that ends up kind of clumping up your mascara. So pick your battles, you know? Okay, I'm gonna take one more hit off of this vape pen and then I'm going to get going. Please let me know if you liked this video. I know it's just kind of random and chatty and I'm just like, I feel like I'm kind of hyper, but also kind of like relaxed. I didn't even have caffeine today. I'm like a little bit shaky. I feel like I've had caffeine, but I haven't. It's weird. Wait, no, I had soda. No, but it was Sprite. Sprite's caffeine free, right? I'm pretty sure Sprite's caffeine free. I don't know, but cheers. Thank you so much to X Vape for sending over one of the Vixen vape pens. This is like, I'm going to show every one of my girlfriends this pen because I'm just genuinely obsessed with it. Oh my God. Teddy's still snoring. All right, cheers. And if anyone is curious, I've been on the blue setting, which is medium, I believe around 500 degrees Fahrenheit, it said. And that's what I've been using like the entire video. Okay, thank you so, so much if you stayed until the end of this video. Um, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. I never tell you guys to give the video thumbs up, and I should do that, because that helps. It really does help with just like getting your video in the suggested columns and stuff like that. So, if you remember, <laughs> so, oh my god. I keep, <laughs> I keep trying to start my sentence, <laughs> and then I start coughing. So if you liked this video, uh, be sure to like it, and I will definitely see you guys soon. Vlogmas is starting in the very near future, and I can't wait. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Stay high, bye.